is Leanne Royal, owner of Intelligent Business Services. Uh, today I'm going to use this sample company, Long for Success, it's just a sample company, to show you how to reconcile your bank account. You can also reconcile your credit card account, but for today we'll just do the bank account. So I'm going to go under to Transactions, Chart of Accounts, You can do this a couple of ways to get in here, but this is how I'm going to do it for now. There's my checking account, so I'm going to go to Account History under Checking Account. And I'm going to click on Reconcile. <clears throat> Reconcile an account. Okay, just let's do it. Okay, I have my physical bank statement in front of me from the bank, and so I have to need to put the bank statement ending balance in here from the actual bank account, not from the QuickBooks bank account. <clears throat> so the ending balance on June 30th, 2016 was $35,000. So put the ending date, which is, like I said, June 30th, 2016, and I can start reconciling it. Okay, this was the beginning of the company, and the owner had put in $35,000 uh, to begin the company. So that's all that there is. So once the difference is zero here, it means that it is reconciled. So we can finish it now. Click that, and we can re, um, view the report. And here it is. I mean, really, this is this is uh, all we really need to see here. It's just that. Okay, the rest of and this, the the rest of um, this is everything that comes after June 30th. So it's just the top that we're interested in. So now I'll go back to the bank register and we're going to reconcile um, up to June 31st, 2016. So I'm going to hit reconcile and my ending balance on my bank statement at that date was $27,897.74 and it's July 31st, 2016 and I'm going to start reconciling. <clears throat> now keep in mind I have my bank statement right in front of me and I'm ticking my bank statement as I'm ticking these off. That That's on my bank statement on the bank statement, on the bank statement. This is not on the bank statement. It is a check, and so obviously it has not cleared the bank, so that will be the difference. This is on my bank statement, and this is on my bank statement. So what it's showing here is that it, there's no difference, and it agrees. So we can hit Finish Now, and to view the report. Okay, so there is the report. It's $27,897.74. The actual bank balance um, in the bank register for QuickBooks Online as of that date is $26,485.24. Uh, it is $1,412.50 less than what the bank, the actual physical bank statement says because that check for $1,412.50 has not cleared the bank yet. And that is check number two. It's this one right here. Okay. <clears throat> so now I can go back to the chart of accounts. Okay. We can, oh, sorry. I meant to, I meant to go in here into the banking uh, checking account. Once it's reconciled, well, we have to go down here. You can see these R's. It means that 
they've been it's been reconciled to the bank statement. And as you can see, this hasn't there's no R here because this one has not cleared yet. So I hope uh, you understand reconciling your bank account. That's very important. You need to do it at the end of every month just to make sure that you've uh, captured everything. Also, you should reconcile your credit card accounts. Okay, I hope that helped you and have a great day. Bye now.